things which we never ever observed inside this campus. This was one of the wonderful campus where the students and faculties were living inside inside these four walls. In the... And now the situation is completely changed. These protests, as you know, we didn't start from the from the uh, last 10 days onwards. This was the protest we started when we lost one of our friends, Rohit Vemula. And at that time onwards, we are very clear that this fight is not only for one Rohit Vemula. This is the fight for the lakhs of the Rohit Vemulas who were killed in the higher education institution by the Southern forces. This was a fight for a community, for a Dalit community who, whom, for whose the justice, justice is denied for the centuries. And this was a fight for, a, for the lack of the tribes whose resources were looted by these Sanghi forces. And this was a, this was a fight which became a, an icon for the students' movement and the Dalit movement inside our country. And, uh, and we could able to continue our struggle without any disturbances, without, any, without even flagging a flower inside the campus, we continue our struggle. But we get to know that on 22nd of the March, March 22nd, we see he's coming back to the campus and he will be holding a press meet. We marched to there and when we reached there, there was some fraction of the students inside, some, of, some fraction of the faculties inside and in a very highly secret, secret manner, he came back to the campus. And I would like to ask you, when a VC come back to the campus, who is the first fellow had to be announced about, the, about his assumption? That should be the interim vice chancellor. On 21st of the March, we, some of us, on behalf of the Joint Action Committee for Social Justice, went and met him. And we clearly said that. We clearly said that that this campus should continue in the in the this peaceful way. It has to be normal. And we want to continue with our academics because we we are giving much value for that. And we told him that we see Professor Rao should not come back. Because we are considering him as a murderer of Roy Tumula. And we, the students of the University of Hyderabad, who lived with Roy Tumula, cannot bear with such kind of the murderer as our VC inside this campus. <laughs> he clearly said that. <laughs> but meanwhile, Professor Peresami, the interim vice chancellor, didn't have any information about that. And he, were, he said that I will inform to the MHRD. But on the second day, on the second day of that meeting, BC came back to the campus and he spoke to some of the teaching and non-teaching staff and even met ABP president who led to the, the suspension of the five Delhi students and the death of the Rohit Gangula. And we are not understanding, we are not understanding these people, this administration will, will stand with the justice or always will be against the justice. And we, we are not asking for anything, we are not begging you anything. We are very clearly saying that there is an inquiry which is going against, going on the issue of the Royal Tumula incident. There is a judicial inquiry is happening. And the MHRD constituted a, fact, a committee, a fact planning committee, they clearly said that BC misleaded or man said that he didn't properly handle this issue. That was the reason for the, that death. That birds are still existing. And he approached the court six times for interim relief. But court didn't agree that. Still, he came back to the campus. What is it? Nothing but a disrespect to the judicial system which is existing in southern campus. <laughs> and, and we are very clear. We are very clear on the fact that you cannot, you cannot make us fear. You cannot make us fear by showing your police and the lattice. You cannot show the, you cannot use your schools to make us fear. Because, because we learned some lessons we learned some lessons from the Periyar, Saudri Bhai Pule, Pule, Ambedkar and Bhagat Singh. Not like you, not like you who plead, who plead and absconded from the freedom fight by, by giving the apology letter to the British government. We are not belong to that. We belong to a people, a belo we belong to a, belong to a community who has a lot of self-respect. Self and we follow our own minds, which says that this kind of the actions, this kind of the ruining of this campus should not happen. And we believe that. That's why we, 
the join us in committee for social justice appeal to the students that you have to go to the classes you have to you have to concentrate on your academy by understanding the fact that at this point of time when he come back to the campus the idea behind it is very simple we want to ruin the atmosphere the academic atmosphere which we are we are enjoying we are tasting like we are tasting like a like a sweet and myself or the students who are sitting standing here we are not reserved for this protest we want to go back to our academy our classes but always this gate gate will be closed in front of us when he come back to the campus and i would like to ask you mr aprao how far to what extent you can close these doors in front of us not only in said in said this issue campus it is happening all over the country iblu bio manu genu and anywhere and everywhere and the list goes on that sound you cannot suppress that sound that will become a massive sound and nobody even a 56 inch prime minister cannot stop that and i would like to say our dear dear that you can apply for a permanent visa to a to num numerous countries where you have visited that will be the best option for you and here here we have four important personalities one is famous journalist and a speaker this has settled well with us and and comrade mb rajesh mp is with us and uh, uh, dr a sambath mp is with us and ticket is you mp is also with us and here here you can see that our campus is is chartered by a special rule which is passed inside the inside the parliament where where the present vice chancellor will not understand will not understand the the, the value of the democracy he won't understand what is the value of the mps member of parliament these are the people who came from the kerala to who came from the kerala to enquire about the students who got arrested who got beaten up and this gate once again closed in front of them and i would like to warn the university administration you have to finalize that you have to make it very clear that do you want a gate for the university or an open space for you that is up to you and i'm putting it up to that and i request if we plan these people will come inside and will have a just have a dialogue inside the acho commerce somewhere now at this present scenario we will be having a public meeting at this point of this this place by 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 the display of protest this is self is a way of protest work where some people try to implement try to try to implement their power in the ugliest form they to stand unitedly and to speak against that and we are here to hear the voices hear the words which these people are going to say and i request all of you to be straight and uh, please please listen listen to their voice because our mic have some issues and you are keep in mind and please i once again i appeal you all to see that's all jb lancelot